welcome back to lesson number two. This is five under five, hot tip number two to help you keep building these coaching skills following day one. Today, number two's reminder is around Evan House's forgetting curve. So what do we want to cover here? It's about reminding you to keep tapping into the learning, keep tapping into the experiences of day one and also the activities that you're doing in between day one and day two the coaching with your peers, the coaching with your team, going back over the notes, watching the YouTube video, and making sure you're reading the book, The Coaching Habit. So let's have a look at Eben House's forgetting curve again. So the forgetting curve says that on day one of the learning, we start at 100%, but over the course of 30 days, we lose approximately 80% of the content. So what are you doing to make sure that you're maintaining the level of content in your own head, maintaining the, the understanding and the new learnings that are coming with this. Well, what's the key word from this? The key word from Evan House's experiment is called the forgetting curve. So what he's helping to instill in you is an is a understanding or a sensation of forgetting. So we have to use the positive opposite, the inverse of this, and turn it into the remembering curve. But what does that look like? Well, the remembering curve here starts on day one at 100%. And as we start to then fluctuate, we know that we have to read the notes. So maybe it comes back up again. It starts to dip off a little bit. We watch the video. Again, it comes back up again. And it's making sure we're doing the exercises and putting in place the, the open questions, the approaches, the non-judgment and the empathy that we show to the people around you. And that doesn't just mean the people at work, it also means the people at home as well. Because these coaching skills are pervasive through all of our lives. Then what happens is we end up coming out to day two and the learning goes up. And as it starts to crest back down, we go through the activities again. And as we come back to day three, we end here. So by the end of the three days over the course of the next six or so months as it's going to be, you're going to actually end up with probably around about 250% more content than you knew you were going to experience previously. So right now, the activities from this micro learning today is go back, have a look at your notes, see what new revelations come up. Go back and make sure you're doing the exercises. Make sure you're diving into that book and you're causing the remembering curve, which is much like a, a mountain climb or a roller coaster ride compared to the long distance slide of the forgetting curve. So what activities are you doing right now to make sure you're building your skills for day number two? See you in the next lesson.